What's going on everybody? This is your boy JD and thank you for viewing Coast to Coast Gamers here on my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while since I've actually said anything on my on any of my videos. And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. It is the Utah Jazz in first place in the playoffs in the Western Conference and Golden State is second second ranked. Uh, that means I put in work. I put in a lot of work. Just want to do a movie uh, movie update, a movie review. Went to go see uh, Creed 2 with my son Tyler today. And the movie was alright. The first one was much better. My, my personal opinion, the first one was much better. Creed 2, it was not bad. I'm not, I'm not saying it was bad. It was good, but it was nowhere, to me, it was nowhere near better than the first one. Um, is it worth going to see? Eh, I say 50-50. I get it 50-50. But uh, Drago's son, he <laughs> he put a whooping on Adonis Creed. He put a whooping on him. But the ending, you got to see it. So I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm just saying, my personal opinion, it wasn't. it's not worth to go see right away. Just wait a while until the hype dies down, then go see it. And then you'll probably feel the same way I do. Creed 2, it was good, but nowhere near as good as the first one. But this is a gaming channel, not a movie review channel. I just wanted to put that out to you. So uh, I'm going to post all four quarters. Well, not all four. Yeah, I am. I'm going to post the full first quarter and the full fourth quarter of the game. And then the last probably between three to five minutes of the second quarter and the third quarter and I'm going to upload it in 4k so all my playoff games that I'm going to upload on YouTube on my channel will be in 4k so if you have a 4k monitor a computer monitor or just where you put it on regular TV you'll see it in 4k so with that hit that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe and let's do this game one, round one of the Western Conference playoffs. The Jazz versus the Pelicans. Let's, it let's do it. Here. Welcome into game one in the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. We're at Vivint Smart Home Arena in downtown Salt Lake City. Tonight, it'll be the Utah Jazz getting set to match up with the New Orleans Pelicans. With Jay Williams, I'm Ed Cohen. Jay, you look at the Jazz as they enter play. They're rested. They're ready to go. And they'll have home court advantage to begin here in games one and two. And I'll tell you what, I am looking forward to this series right here. This is going to be a dogfight. We got a couple of teams that match up very well. I can see this one going to win. Yes, seven games. That's how even these teams are. Holiday in possession. Down two. Here comes the screen. Holiday to Payton. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. 24 second violation. to Joe Ingles from the painted area won't go down Hayden with the basketball just getting going here in game one to Julius Randle three second count Rubio. They get it down to Gobert. Shot from the lane won't go. And physicality is your friend. Don't let these guys get any easy ones down low. Make them look at the refs, wondering where the foul was every time. Utah with the possession. Open look, and he buries it. Defense has to wake up. 
There's only so many times you can hide from the truth. That was horrific defense. Just got to get it back on the next possession. Hayden into the front court, trailing by four. Jazz pick it up. Now push it. Let's attack and transition so we can build this lead. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. And if you're on defense on that last possession, no need to look over to the coach's bench, hold up your arms, wonder what did you do. Everybody got back. Everybody communicated. Everybody pointed. It was just better offense than there was defense. To Davis. Now ready with a couple of free throws. Trust me, you want to avoid early foul trouble. Take that one as a warning. Anthony Davis at the line for two shots. For his career, 79% the line. First free throw is good. Oh, and also to let you guys, remind you guys, uh, when I'm doing the playoff run, I'm only going to do post game one and game three. If I end up sweeping or I feel like that I'm going to sweep the team, I will post up game one, game three, and also game four. So just to let y'all know. All right, let's get back to the game. Ah, you've got to get that one to go. And a lot of times in this league, teams take days off. But if this defense keeps maintaining that style of pace defensively, this is going to be a dog fight. Randall. To Holiday. Has a chance. Oh, straight down the middle for two. No doubt about where that one was headed. Here's Rubio into the front court. Lead is two. And he'll go to the foul line. You see this all the time. The defensive player is establishing his presence on the court and also checking to see how far the refs are going to let him go. Joe Ingles, a couple of free throws on the way. For his career, 76% from the line. And he connects on the first free throw. No good on the second. It's a one of two trip. The follow won't go either. That'll be rejected by Davis. Oh, they call the foul, Jay. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Peyton to Holiday. Has a look. Deep two there, won't go. Rubio into the front court, leads three. Joe Ingles to Gobert. Short jumper misses. Holiday controls the basketball. Looking to make something happen. Drives, but a shot won't go down. It's Jazz ball. Shot for Mitchell won't go. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. He's too good to leave that wide open. Defense has to communicate. You know, Ed, the effort is what concerns me the most. Effort is replenishable. If you're tired, raise your hand, check yourself out. Get somebody who actually wants to get back in transition and play some defense. That will help your team win the game, not you just staying in the game to be better on offense. Mitchell with it up top. Up by three. Rubio to Gobert. Had a chance, but it's no good. It's because he took his eye off his target, Ed. As an offensive player, you have to glare at where the defender's coming to, but quickly redirect yourself to your actual target. He was more consumed with the defender than he was the actual rim. It goes down. That's what you like. That rip through right into the shot. That's smooth. Have to respect all elements of his game. Holiday in possession. Down five. Huh? Can't do that. Ed, you can't lunge like that. Time to shuffle things up. Randall.
to Holiday. Knock loose. Jazz have it. Joe Ingles. Going to launch beyond the arc. Tough shot for Joe Ingles. No good. Holiday controls the basketball. Five point game. To Alec Burks. Anthony Davis. Two for two. That's what you want. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Let's it fly from long range. Off the iron. No good. Holiday in possession. They're down three to Davis. Can't connect from inside. Joe Ingles to Gobert. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. It's not a travel, but it looks pretty. Holiday controls the basketball. He'll run the offense to Alec Burks. Oh, not a good pass there as it's stolen by Utah. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Hey, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Free throw good by Mitchell. A three-point play, and the Jazz extend the lead. Utah ball, Rubio. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Jason Allen. Randall to Holiday. Drew Holiday. Two or four now. On and off the court, Drew Holiday is one of my favorite players. He always brings that passion and intensity on the hardwood floor. But this game always comes back to why do you play? And there's no doubt about it. He plays for his wife, Lauren, and also his baby girl, Drew Tyler. His wife, while pregnant, found out that she had a brain tumor behind her right eye. He skipped the season, stayed with his wife. Oh, he just blocked that shot out of bounds. Jay, they're lucky they get the ball back. Randall. Short jumper, won't fall. He's fouled. Very close, Jay. Free throws coming up. Here's the truth. As long as you're using your legs and your body to stay in front of the offensive player, you won't get called for those. You keep reaching, though, it's going to be a long night. First one, count it. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. New Orleans will take it up. To Julius Randle. Defense making the ball handler work. And he's fouled. Davis going to the line for two. Yo, Ed, how's that saying go? Fool me once. You used up the free pass. You know how they're calling this one. Ease up on the aggressive plays on the ball. Knocks down the first. Second one off the mark. He goes one for two. To Levine. Oh, had him going there for a second. Short jumper off the mark. 
You see, this is something that everybody has, but some people choose to use it or not. I'm glad you choose to use effort on getting around those screens. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. Well, he finished strong because he was able to initiate the contact. When you initiate the contact first, you bounce off the defender, which balances you at the rim. Here comes the screen. Levine. Oh, not a good pass as the Pelicans come up with it. Gets it in the left corner. Knock loose. Jazz pick it up. Levine. Oh, ferocious slam inside. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. Davis to Julius Randle. They go down to Davis. Nice pass to get things going. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Now pass stolen by the Pelicans. Davis. Doesn't have the touch. No good. Mitchell with the basketball. Up five. Gets to the basket, but it's no good. To Julius Randle. Using the post to his advantage there and the finish at the rim. Jay, this is getting scary fast. If you're the defense, you have to deny him the ball. Maybe throw a box in one. Maybe throw a zone. Maybe even throw the kitchen sink because he's putting on a show in the first quarter. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. Get inside. From 18 feet at the buzzer, Zach Levine missed his first. That one goes. We've reached the end of the first quarter here in game one. Jay and I back with more after this. This is the first round of the West Changes of his own. To Allen. Short jumper won't go down. To Davis. Nothing going here on that drive. Hayden to Davis. Oh, Gobert sends him packing. 24 second violation. Grayson Allen to Joe Ingles. Fires the three. And Davis there to grab the rebound. Hayden with the basketball. Gonna run the offense. To Holiday. Driving right to the basket. And that's oh, and he can't keep it in off the block. Man, that was impressive. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Utah with the possession to Allen. Taking advantage of the defender. Nice ball fake. One of the best in the biz right there. Maybe the best.
Davis to Payton. Down low for Davis. Nice pass to set things up. There's some players out there that like the freedom of space, and then we have the anomalies. We have the players who feel comfortable being uncomfortable. And almost the physicality of the game centers them and puts them right on balance every time. Baseline drive. Ooh, he sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. Beyond the arc for three. Knocks it down. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. To Holiday. To Davis. Oh, 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 get that out of here. Message sent, Jay. Hayden has a chance. Drew Holiday. He's three for seven. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot he won. To Joe Ingles. Down low for Gobert. That'll be rejected by Davis. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Shot from the lane won't go. To Julius Randle. Hayden. To Davis, down low. Scores from the post. Inside or outside. Can any seven-footer in the NBA match this guy's versatility? Not yet. Not yet, but Chris Stapp's Perzingis is very, very close. Hits the three-pointer. Hayden into the front court. Down two. To Davis. Has a look. Oh! Out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. Joe Ingles. And the Pelicans able to clear the rebound. To Holiday. Turn label included. The offense might want to adjust here. That's his fourth block of the evening. Short jumper off the mark. Randall. And that'll be out of bounds. Last touch by the Pelicans. For three, drills the three. To Holiday. Randall. Davis. To Payton. Twenty footer at the buzzer. The screen sets him up for two. It's halftime here in game one. Let's get you to Orlando where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our EA Sports halftime right report. Now. Count the basket at the rim. Underutilized, underutilized, underutilized. Am I getting my point across? Let's see more of them.
to Holiday. Alec Burks, they'll get it down to Davis. Count the basket. Ed, I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Trying to cash in, and he knocks it down, Jay. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Davis. And he hits. And when we start talking about some of the top players in the game, can we talk about the guy that got first team all NBA for the third time in four years? Can we talk about the guy who was the second leading scorer in the league last year with 28 points per night? Can we start mentioning AD's name with the best in the game starting now? To Allen. Rudy Gobert. Now three for nine. The true measure of Rudy Gobert comes on the defensive end. He was all NBA defensive first team and was tied for the lowest opponent field goal percentage at 43%. You ain't getting by that. Holiday, they go down to Davis. To Holiday, from long range. Oh, he couldn't get it to go. Here's Exum, leads a bucket. Slam dunk. And no emotion, just that ice cold stare. That's a sign of somebody who's here to compete. Holiday in possession. He'll run the offense. Davis to Alec Burks. And that's rejected by Gobert. The Stifle Tower. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Alec Burks to Davis. Deep two there. Won't go. To Gobert. Knock loose. Gobert. Oh, not a good pass as the Pelicans come up with it. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade is called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively, you try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you'll be able to stop a great passing team. To Gobert. And the rebound taken by the Pelicans. That's the end of the quarter. The Jazz out in front. It's Utah basketball as we begin the fourth quarter, and they'll be looking to finish strong. And when you play stingy defense on one end, the other end takes care of itself. Grayson Allen to Joe Ingles. Here comes the screen. Joe Ingles. And counted at the rim. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Knock loose. Jazz have it. Don't rush this now. The game's been tight so far. To Allen. To the rim. Lays it up and in. It just seems like nobody can stop him but him. Once he's found his offensive swag, that boy's deadly. To Payton. Shot from the lane, won't go. Has a chance. Shot by Burks, no good. Oh, I like that. You got the defense rotating from side to side. They're even recovering late, but still you gotta make that one. Grayson Allen powers it through. 
Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. To Davis. Defender was right there. He has to know better. Mitchell with it up top. His team leads it by 10. Here comes the screen. All by himself. Creates his own shot there. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Pelicans have the basketball. Add two points to the board. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Mitchell with the basketball. Lead stands at 10. Grayson Allen. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. There was so much debate going on about who was the best gem in the 2017 NBA draft. Was that Jason Tatum? But a lot of people think it's Donovan Mitchell. I have to agree. What a great find by Dennis Lindsay, the GM for the Jazz. At 13 overall, he wound up leading all rookies in scoring, averaging 20 and a half points per game. Gets it to go, and the foul. So many times we get on the defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. Jazz have the ball to Allen. Short jumper misses. Off the mark. Surprised he took that one. Oh, I see how you're playing this chess match. That's what you keep doing defensively. Keep baiting him and luring him into shooting that jump shot. Exploited. He was crowded. Grayson Allen off the mark. In the first half, he pretty much made every single shot. It was magical to watch. But now that you have drawn so much attention, try to get your teammates more involved. Davis. Here's a chance from long range. And the rebound taken in by the Jazz. Grayson Allen to Joe Ingles. 4-3. That won't go. To Payton. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. And the last 10 sequences down the court, everybody's touched the ball. You don't see anybody with any kind of negative expressions on their face because everybody's eaten. Here comes the screen. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. Goes down. Well done. That might have been a little bit easier than expected there, considering the score. Rubio to Joe Ingles. Oh, had him going there for a second. How you practice leads to that. Nice pump fake. Oh, don't see the read. Be the read. And Jay, they call the foul. Just a tic-tac foul. Hayden. Can't connect. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. Sometimes when the players find that flow, nobody else needs to touch the ball. He's in a zone by himself. To Joe Ingles. Now pass stolen by the Pelicans. Alec Burks with the slam. And that is the sign of an unselfish team. When everybody in transition thinks they have a chance to get the ball because you have a willing passer, somebody willing to make other players on his team look great, that's only going to force your players to play that much harder on offense and give you more energy on the defensive end. Sacrificing everything for the loose ball. Hayden with the basketball. They're down three. Oh, he just blocked that shot out of bounds. Jay, they're lucky they get the ball back. Coach has seen enough. He wants some changes. New personnel onto the floor.
Holiday. Down low for Davis. Scores from the post. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there is a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. Ricky Rubio, four out of seven. Ricky's never really been the guy to look for his shot first, though he did average a career high in points per game last season. And it all starts with that blow by first step that sets up his opponent. Randall to Holiday to Davis, down low. Working it outside. And that'll be out of bounds. Last touch by the Pelicans. Here's Rubio up top. Up by three to Joe Ingles. Why even try that time? I'm going to start calling him the windshield wiper. Just erasing all the mistakes. Randall. Mitchell with it up top. Looking to make something happen to Joe Ingles. Here comes the screen. Joe Ingles to Gobert. Shot from in close, no good. Payton into the front court. Down three. Got it. Look at that, calm under pressure. You see a lot of guys watch those. Nice extra move there. Donovan Mitchell with the rock to Joe Ingles. To Rubio. Finish that. Hayden with the basketball. His guys now trailing by a point. From the painted area, won't go down. To Gobert. Here comes the screen. Rubio. Well defended, but Ricky Rubio takes his man for a ride and knocks it down. Well, the defense has been good, but the shot-making ability has been better. And sometimes for NBA players at this level, the more you're in their face, the more it helps them center their focus on the target, which is making the shot. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's a real thing. Short jumper won't go down. I'm not sure that the contest on the shot contributed to the miss, but what it might have done is seep into the confidence of the shooter that the next time he might decide to try to drive to the rim instead of settling for a jump. Oh, the slam popped out. Basket's good on the follow. Way to stay with it. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Mitchell to the basket, but he can't get it to go. Hayden to Davis. Can't slam it down. Mitchell with the basketball. Two-point advantage. Here comes the screen. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. Let me tell you something that nobody will ever talk about. Did you see him slow down right before he was about to go up? That slow change of speed, that slight change was just enough to throw the defender off. It's jazz ball. Tried to slam it down, but it comes out to Davis. Oh, Gobert sends him packing. Get the cameras out. Flash on. That's going to make a nice poster. To Rubio. Count the bucket for two. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball 101. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. Whistle stops play. Timeout New Orleans. But this game's in the balance. And time is of the essence.
for some new personnel into the game. Randall to Holiday. To Payton. Holiday. Rebound called in by Exum. There's the whistle and an intentional foul. Just their first in the final two minutes, so no free throws yet. They'll take the ball out of bounds. Too close to call right now. We're in clock management mode. That was a good play. Utah ball. And he's going to the line to shoot. I've seen it happen so many times. Small things like that foul can end up becoming a momentum changer. Let's see how this one plays out. First one goes down. Two for two on that trip. Fires the three. Defense played it well. Randall missed the three. It's the Jazz who come away with the victory. They've jumped down in front. One game to none in this best of seven series. For my partner, Jay Williams. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a, a nail biter all the way through. Pelicans was giving me issues um, at the end, but we pulled it out, beat them by eight. So I hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I will post up game three probably right after Thanksgiving. So it'll probably be, uh, I would say, Saturday. Is when Finish. I put up uh, blocks, game three. So with that, you guys have a happy and safe Thanksgiving, defense. and I'll see you they Saturday. Y'all take care. Peace. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored.